hi friends today I'm going to show you how to set variables in the PowerShell command prompt so first I'm going to, going to open the PowerShell so here you can see so the command which we are going to see is set variable so let's check up the help of set variable so here you can see so many syntax are given here let's check the detail help so these are the detailed help which includes the parameters here so if you want to use these parameters you can use and for each and every parameter you have a certain options to you need to pass some values to those parameters and let's check out the examples by default which was given in the powershell so if you see there was no examples which was given here so we can go for online example just give get help on the set variable and iPhone online so if you just give this command iPhone online with the get help it will directly redirect you to your browser for the online Microsoft help but you need to have a valid internet connection to proceed into this since I have valid internet connection I am just going to hit enter to open the so this is the command which you are looking for and these are the syntax which was given for the set variable command and these are some of the examples which was given for the set variable command so now let's work out this command so in order to set the variable you need to type the command set variable and you need to give the switch that is a parameter name first like test and the value the value can be of anything you want like test center so I just set the variable test with the value test center so now I'm just going to hit enter here so the variable has been set and now I'm just going to get the variable let's check it out so if you see for the variable test you can see the value was given as test center you can also set the different names like I'm just going to give one two three four five six for number variable so I'm just going to get number so here you can see for the variable number you have set a value one two three four five six and let's so just need to give get iPhone variable star to see all the default variables which was given you a system so here you can see the variable which you have created the number variable and the test variable so this is how you will check out the variables in your system and these are all the default variables so if you just want to check it out 
like get variable ps home so this is the command which I'm going to enter so let's check it out here so here you can see the value of that variable so this is how you can just set the variable and you can just get the variable uh, this is one of the method to set and get the variables and I will show you the next method to get the variable set and get the variables so you know that I have set two kinds of variable that is test and number so these are the two variables you can also use the comma comma here to look for more number of variables here and I have just checked out for test and uh, number variable then the values are given here now what I'm going to see is you I'm going to use the dollar symbol for to get the variables so this is this one of the shortcut here and I'm just going to type dollar symbol and test so if we just hit the enter you can get the value of that variable if you see here there we can get the value of that variable and now I'm just going to hit number here so you can get the value like this and if you want to set the variable with the help of the dollar symbol you can use power is equal to we just see whether we can execute this command so it was executing without any issue and now I'm just going to hit it view the variable for the I'm just going to view the value for the variable power and here you can see it was not coming so I think you don't I think you will not understand this uh, list explain you clearly because we need to give quotes between the value if you use space here so keep in mind that it will not work and you need to give the quotes for if you want to give a sentence like power this is my PC you need to give the quotes here and also need to show you another thing that how to overwrite the variables I just created a variable called power so it will show you the value of the variable power so this is my PC is the value just given to this variable now what I'm going to do is I'm just going to rewrite the value of the variable so what I'm going to do is I'm just simply going to give the enter the this windows power shell so I'm just going to I'm just going to give the command here I'm just going to assign the value for that variable by simply without creating or deleting the variable I'm just going to hit enter here so I just hit the enter and now I'm going to check the variable so here you can see the variable have been changed so this is how you can create and rewrite the variables and now what we can see is how to remove those variables so let's check out the variables here for power and number so here you can see the values for those variable power and number I'm just going to remove the
variable power here just type remove iPhone variable and type your variable name and hit enter and now you can see here you can see there is no variable called can't find the variable with the name called power so this is how you will remove variable and now what I'm going to do is I'm just going to clear the value of the variable You can see the value of the variable is one two three four five six and now what I'm going to do is just going to clear the variable and let's get the variable here so if you see here the value of the this variable number has been clear so this is how you will use the variable in your PowerShell and I think this might be helpful for you and these variables are used mostly in your scripting technology that is a PowerShell scripting so it would be more useful for you if you know how to handle these kind of variables for writing the scripts so keep in mind that before running those scripts you need to be conscious while using these variables without knowing the variables you should not use this in writing the scripts and executing in your system it may cause your system to get hanged or you may unconsciously delete though some kind of system file so keep in mind and be conscious while using this scripts with the help of the variable and thank you for watching the video and you can see more tutorials for powershell in my upcoming video postings and if you like this video and then you can subscribe my channel and once again thank you for watching the video